Yo, what's good, people? How's it going? Raf here. Welcome back to another video of mine. I hope you guys are doing excellent. Me personally, I'm doing just great. I went out in the city today and explored a little bit. And while I was there, I copped a brand new pair of shoes, which is actually the ones that you see right in front of your very eyes. As a matter of fact, it's the Air Jordan 2 Low in the brand new UNC colorway. Or actually, not even brand new, should I say. Fun fact, this is a PE exclusive that Michael Jordan wore back all the way in 1987. But we'll get into that in just a tiny little while. Now these came out around a month ago, I'd like to say, either first or second week of July, if I'm not mistaken, at least in the US. And the reason I say this is because the store that I personally got them at only got them about a week ago in men's sizing. I don't really know what happened there. Either they had a different release date here in Canada for whatever reason, or we had delayed shipments. Either of the two, I don't care. I'm just happy to have them. I just think it's a really clean, dope colorway. And I'm personally a very big fan of the Air Jordan 2. Always have been. This is my first pair of lows, third pair overall. And without further ado, let's get right into it. It's a very simple shoe. There's not that much to get into, but it's definitely worth taking a good look at. So as you can see, super simple, only a couple of hits of UNC and the rest is pretty much made out of white or gray. Here's the front for you, as well as the medial side. Now, as you can see, this shoe is pretty much comprised basically out of entirely leather. We got this leather right here around the guard which is looks like it has sort of a crinkling effect i don't really know if you're gonna see what i mean but it's definitely not smooth smooth it sort of has texture embossed into it i think it looks dope and right here you have this reptilian skin that's very very reminiscent of the air Jordan 2 definitely a signature look of that shoe and here on the mud guard, you have a completely smooth white leather. You can see it's not as textured as the one on the rest of the upper. And overall, I gotta say the craftsmanship is also really nice on my pair at least. I haven't seen that many defects. Definitely nothing like my Jordan 2s, which had this part of the tongue unstitched. That wasn't fun, but to be fair, it doesn't really show, so I don't really mind. And one thing that I really like that they did is that they didn't do any gradient on the piping I, I think it looks cool but for this release i think it looks super super clean just one simple piece of unc blue leather on top i just think that looks great and speaking of unc blue you also have the hit right there on the back and if you don't know the yeezy 2 the yeezy 2's design was inspired by the jordan 2 on the back you can see this is very reminiscent of the yeezy 2 and one thing I gotta say about the Jordan 2 is I really like the, the padding on the inside. I think it's a really plush shoe. Even the tongue is somewhat padded and super fat. It sort of reminds me of an SB in a way and you can just see. And even though they're super padded, I always go half a size down in my Jordan 2s. I am usually a size 10.5 and these are a 10, just like my high tops. I just think it's a really large and roomy shoe. I mean, whatever works for you, works for you, and whatever works for me, works for me. Of course, on the outsole, you have hits of UNC, and you have your size label right here on the bottom. I always thought that was pretty cool. I don't know if there's a specific reason why they do it. I really couldn't guess. Maybe, if I did have to though, if I did have to guess, it's very a it's much of it's much more of a dress shoe thing i feel like and if you don't know the air Jordan 2 back in 1986 when it came out was sort of modeled after a luxury shoe they wanted to have a more premium feel to the jordan line and maybe maybe that's why they started doing that i don't know i think it's really cool nonetheless and that piece is pu as well it's polyurethane so you have a little bit more of step and comfort which is always cool. It's not part of the midsole. It's an entirely different piece. Now, into the story of the shoe. Now, like I said, this is a player exclusive that Michael Jordan wore in 1987. And he wore that shoe because in his NBA contract or Nike contract, either of the two, I'm losing 
touch right here, but you get what I mean. It was either of the two, but in his contract basically stated that there was a love of the game clause, which basically means that he would be allowed to play basketball whenever and wherever. And basically what that means is that he wouldn't get penalized because uh, companies back then would not allow basketball players to earn money from other tournaments, uh, such as, for example, alumni games, pick up alumni games or street tournaments. But Michael Jordan had complete freedom. And in 1986, he entered his, his first alumni game. He actually debuted the Air Jordan 2 there. It was the Jordan 2 High. And he actually painted the, the back in UNC. And if you remember around 2016 or 2017, I'd like to say a pack of Jordan 2s and a pair of Converse came out. And it was basically the highlight of that game. They had the day on the back and they had the UNC hit as well. It's basically the, the Jordan 2 Chicago, but with a UNC hit on the bottom and on the back. I thought it was a pretty cool concept. Not for me though. I don't like random hits of colors on shoes. I like everything to make a lot of sense, if that makes any sense to you. Um, I just like everything to be somewhat coordinated. But this shoe, for example, is very coordinated, is super clean, which is definitely something I can get into. And like I said, the Jordan 1, the Jordan 2 highs, he wore as the first game and the second game in 1987 he actually wore this exact shoe. Now, whether he custom made them for himself, I don't know, or that Nike made them for him, it's not very well known. There is footage of that game, but it's very grainy. It's not very clear. You can tell that he has Jordan 2s on feet, but very, very faintly, it doesn't really show. Of course, cameras from the 80s were not the best, as we all know, especially not uh, sports broadcasting televisions, definitely not. Um, but yeah, so technically, I guess you could say this is an OG colorway, but not really. These never really came out to the public in 1987. But at least now we get to enjoy them, and I think that they look super, super dope. I'm really happy to have them. As you can see, I took the liberty to lace them up. This is how I would lace up my Jordan 2s personally. And as far as the tech specs goes, in 94 was the first retro and they actually had i don't know what they had but i'm pretty sure they were true to the og with a heel air unit and in 2004 when they started really retroing the jordan 2s from 2004 to like i think the off whites the low top off whites the chicago's is when they first started started implementing the og colorway back which is as i said the heel air unit only but what I was getting to is from 2004 to that shoe, the Chicago Off-Whites, they were using a full length air unit. It pretty much stopped at the, the toes, which is I think is called a three quarter air unit, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure Nightwing knows that's where I got this information from, to be exact. But if you go watch one of his videos, you'll have pretty much the exact explanation, word by word. He'll let you know. And not as comfortable for sure but definitely more true to the og me personally i just think the jordan 2 is a very plush shoe like i mentioned they're super comfortable either way i had a pair of 2010 or 2011 chicago's and they were super comfortable from what i remember although i didn't keep them for a long time because the sizing was wrong unfortunately i wish i could have kept that shoe but it's all good we all have regrets as sneakerheads i always tell my friends we wouldn't be sneakerheads if we didn't have regrets and on that note, I think I'm going to leave you guys to it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for clicking on the video. You didn't have to, and yet you did it. Here you are. Thank you very much. If you're a new viewer, please consider subscribing. I make videos on sneakers and vintage clothing mostly. So if these are things that interest you, please consider subscribing. And that's it for me, guys. Have a good night. Have a good rest of your night. And I'll see you guys again very soon. Thank you. Take care, guys.